Hello YouTubers, welcome back to another Dr. Bison 10 YouTube video and today is a little bit of an update, a big, big update. Um, first thing you can see is we have a switchboard on now. Um, ignore the switch, it's not straight, I know, but I'm not going to try and resolve this because um, it was a bugger to print it in the right size. Um, but it's got sellotape all over it to keep the paper down. And also, it, it does work, it does do something, we'll get to in a minute. That shouldn't be on there, that's a block connector. Ignore the mess. Um, we've got these things on it that are stripped from the motor because I wanted to get the coils to make this coil looking thing for the keypad panel. And there's another bit there. Um, I think I said about this cable, I added it in. Um, I added this in um, just to make it look like it goes to the top of the TARDIS. Uh, I think I mentioned about it, I'm not quite sure. This panel's moved a little bit, um, so I had to get into the do the electronics for this because I've put a hole inside the rib to be able to put the wiring through, so it works for the time rope, which has been sorted. Um, so it does have the. I don't know how to do it properly without it, anyways. But yeah, it does work. Um, it's a little bit more translucent, which means you can see it just about, apart from the top, which is a little bit annoying. So, I don't know what to do about that one. Um, I ain't got any more LEDs to use, so that's as bright as it will go. Um, but yeah, so it's still got the reflective down there. I might have to put one on the top at some point, I don't know yet. But yeah, um... And then this, this thing here does the lights on the DMAT lever, which gives it that authentic feel. So it gives it that, you know, that, that feeling for it to do something. It is a two-way switch, but it doesn't do anything else. That's all this is going to do, because this was a bugger to get sorted. But yeah. Um, it is only powered by a square battery, which is held on with cro crocodile clips to the contacts. So I can just change the batteries for this, for the time being. Um, but yeah. Turn this off. But yeah. So you can just about see the inner tube too, but... Yeah, this one's more behaving, but this one isn't lighting at all, It's which is annoying. I did put a third wheel in as well, just to make it, you know, finished. Um, but yeah, it was a bugger to do. But yeah, that's it really. Um, so... But you can see it's held on. But you can see the time rotor doing something, which looks more authentic. Trouble is the time rotor wobbles, and I do have a spare piping from my other console, which is like a, a lining, which is like a brake fluid lining thing. So I'm going to attach some conduit pipe to it and have it coming off there, coming across there, and it's going to stabilise the time rotor, hopefully. But it's going to have to be zip tied on there, um, just to give it that extra support. Um, but that's another project um, to do in another day, just to make it look more authentic. Um, it's only a temporary thing, um, but it's going to make it look more, more or less realistic. And there's a screwdriver on the floor, because um, it was in my pocket, and that just goes on charge like so. Well, it's not charging, but in the show it would be. But yeah, <laughs> it lights up the ceiling. But yeah, it, it it lights up pretty well. In fact, if I turn the console off, <laughs> you can see that light on there. So if I just take that off, put the switch on, you can't really see now, but yeah. But yeah, oh, POV, you are the doctor. <laughs> but yeah. 
So that took me majority of the day to sort out properly. Um, this will be painted, it's not glued down yet, but it is, you know, able to be moved. And it's going to be hot glued down when it's done. Um, there's a bit of room up there to have something there, I guess, but it's not going to be accurate. It's got to be like this plate, this thing going here, which I've got to make up and stuff. There's one that goes here as well. No, that's a glass jar and the trilobe. So I've got to make a trilobe and I've got to like, get a glass jar that'll go on here. That's only there temporarily, so it means I can have my paradox mode soon. I haven't really tried it with that yet. Um... But yeah, hopefully when I've got the red, the, uh, oop. hopefully when I've got the, uh, the red Christmas lights up, I'll be able to do, put this on orange, because that's what it was in the, in the show, then have the red lights going on, but yeah, so yeah, and that just turns on and off here as well, but yeah. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching, please leave a like, and a call, subscribe, don't forget to comment down below, and I'll see you guys next video. Alonzo, Alonzo.